Welcome back to the channel guys. I know this has already been covered by many channels already, but this one is just too good for me to pass up. Especially the FBI call at the end. Now, we all know who Delete Laws is. If not, well, he's a combination of both Sovereign Citizen and First Amendment Auditor. And a Constitutional Law Scholar. Sorry, I couldn't say that without laughing. Who up until now has done more harm than good in the town of Ironton, Ohio where he decided to roll up as a quote-unquote journalist to expose the Ironton Police Department. And things came to a head when he decided to teach his constitutional law class in the lobby of the town hall, without first going through the proper channels. Like getting permission. Apparently he thinks he's above all that. Anyway, I'm covering the part where he gets arrested and then the call to the FBI. I'll leave a link to the full videos and a couple of my favourite channels who covered the full video in the description. Let's get into the video. There's the first lesson of the class. You're in 7-Eleven, you're in Speedway, a cop walks in. What do you do? Filming. You film him, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Cop walks in Speedway, you film him. You tell him, I'm filming you. If you love cops, you go, sir, I'm filming you. Sir, thank you so much for your service, I'm filming you. You always film cops at all times, at all times. Building's closed. Okay, sir. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. God bless you. Building's closing, sir. We're not leaving. We're protesting. Right. Okay, so we all heard that right. He was asked to leave and refused. People in his comments are saying he wasn't asked to leave first. Well, he was, and he refused. This is now criminal trespass. Why can't you try to get to our camera? Why can't you try to get to our camera? You can protest. You have the right to protest. If the police come, you tell... Okay. Now, here's the second thing. So you have the first thing, you film cops. The cop walks up to you. He says things to you. He asks you questions. He threatens you. You say to him, these words exactly. Am I being detained or am I free to go? Step one, film. Step two, cop says to you, what do you do? Am I being detained or am I free to go? That's the only thing you say to the cop. Am I being detained or am I free to go? That's it. If he doesn't answer, walk away. Terry is detained. Terry. It's Terry versus Ohio. That's what Terry versus Ohio is. It's detained. They killed the lights on us. It's fine. They killed the lights because it's 5 p.m. and closing time. Not everything is about you, you know. That's fine. They killed the lights. That's perfectly fine. Hey, uh, we're protesting. Oh, here comes all the cops. Film them all. Okay, Jose M. DeCastro, cease and desist your disorderly conduct or you will be arrested. I'm more than willing Jose to... Jose M. DeCastro, I hear you right here, man. vacate right now or you'll be arrested. I'm more than willing to go with you. Jose M. DeCastro, you will? If, if you're going to arrest me, am I, am I, if I'm under arrest, I'll go with you. All right, let's yeah, do don't touch me. No, I'm not, you're not putting my hand, I'm willing to go. Whoa, 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 you're not going to be Don't take me. Sir, this way. Put him in front. I don't need to. I'll go with you. I'm not going to take me. I'll go with you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But don't, you don't need to torture me. They're arresting me. Does it take five people? They're arresting me. They are arresting me. They, are arresting me. They, they, they placed me under arrest as a law abiding citizen. I will go with them. There's no need for me to fight anybody. Appreciate that. Anyway, he was charged with criminal trespass and disorderly conduct. He was bailed out by one of his friends or supporters for $1,500 a few hours later and then went live to report his arrest to the FBI, claiming a constitutional violation of the First Amendment. So it's, it's, it's trying to go on. We are live. Let's, let's give them a call right now. So, speakerphone on. Okay. Hello, you've reached the Cincinnati office of the FBI. These calls may be recorded. If you are calling to report a bank robbery or kidnapping, press zero. If you are a law enforcement officer. 
Wait a minute, isn't an arrest kidnapping to you? Shouldn't you have pressed zero then? Press zero. If you are calling to report a possible internet or email related crime, please visit www.ic3.gov to submit a complaint. If you are requesting an application for employment or to receive general application information, email Cincinnati applicants at fbi.gov. If you are calling to report other federal crimes or suspicious activity, press 2. For all other calls, press 0 or stay on the line. Cincinnati FBI, how may I direct your call? Uh, I need to report a constitutional rights violation. I was, um, I'm investigating, I'm an investigative journalist. I'm in the Ironton town, I'm in the town of Ironton in Ohio. I was arrested for peacefully protesting and they was, I was charged with disorderly conduct and criminal trespass because I was conscientiously objecting. Conscientiously objecting my ass. Those charges were spot on. You tried to hold a, and this is in quotes, a constitutional law class in the lobby at closing time without permission. Remember you filled in the form, but you were too impatient to wait for approval. Not very clever for a journalist, because now you've become the story. Real journalists do not become the story. And they took my phone. I'm a journalist. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube. There are, hun- there are dozens and dozens of confidential informants on that phone and they told me at the Ironton Police Department that they were going to send my phone off to a lab to get into my phone. I filed a lawsuit against the Ironton Police Department today. This is pure retaliation. I don't want to to repeat this all over again. Um, I'm just the operator, but I can transfer you over to our intake department if you'll wait on the line for option number six and then two six when it's offered to you. You'll be directed to the real person that you can report all of this to, okay? Okay. All right, give me one second. So a gentleman bailed me out of jail. I got to raise 1500 bucks, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to raise the money to pay that gentleman back. I should put my cash app and stuff in there. You know, um, I'm sorry to have to crowdsource, but that's the way it is. And I will not quit, and I will not stop. And understand that Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse, or fear, and it absolutely will not stop, ever, until you are dead. So tell me, why should other people have to pay for your stupidity? I mean, I know they will because you're very good at this, but why should other people have to pay for your incompetence? Call the FBI. Can I get your name, please? My name is... Spell your first name for me. J. That's my name. And your date of birth. And your phone number. I don't have a phone. It was confiscated by the Ironton Police Department when they arrested me. I'm a journalist. I think he was asking for a contact for you. It doesn't have to be the phone that was confiscated. It could be the one you're using right now to make this call. Or a friend's. Just a thought. And stop calling yourself a journalist. You're a crappy activist at best. And I have... Zip code. What's your zip code? Zip code in here. 45638 in Ironton. I'm just outside of Ironton now. First name is Jay. Yes. Uh, 74. You don't have a phone number and your zip code is 45638. No, I do have a phone. I do have a phone number, but the phone is confiscated from the Ironton Police Department. I'm a journalist. I su- what federal crime are you reporting? I'm, re- I'm reporting a, a, a violation of freedom of the press and freedom of speech. I'm a journalist who sued the Ironton Police Department today. They arrested me, confiscated my phone, and told me they were going to search my phone tomorrow. They were going to send it off to a lab. I I didn't do anything to have my phone searched by a lab. They know that I have dozens and dozens of confidential informants in there who've informed me about the Ironton Police Department, and that's why they took my phone. They seized your phone as evidence. They can lawfully do this if they believe that there is a threat to the information it contains. For example, if police have probable cause to believe that there is information on your phone that connects you to criminal activity or implicates you in a crime, 
they can lawfully seize your phone if they believe that you may erase or delete the information before they can secure a warrant. But you should know this, being a constitutional lawyer and all. This is an ongoing story. I've been here for a week. I've had dozens of people, confidential informants, confide in me. I'm Are the, you in jail right now? I just got out of jail. Okay. Now remember, I, I, I surrendered peacefully. They arrested me for criminal trespass and disorderly conduct according to what the jail told me. But there was 1,500 people watching when it happened. So you'll be able to see that I, I clearly gave myself up because I'm, I'm for law and order. What's with all the dramatics? You're not a fugitive on the run. You're just an annoying, crappy activist who got arrested for trespassing and disorderly conduct. We all saw it coming. You're nothing special. And so, but they took my phone, which is the way I broadcast as a member of the press through YouTube. And when they did that, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I understand the Constitution, the Bill of Rights very well. And I teach it. Man, this is so cringe to listen to. So the problem here is that at this point, you cannot allow the Ironton Police Department to take my phone and to track down the confidential informants. They're all afraid. They're afraid. I have on my channel, Delete Laws on YouTube, you can watch dozens of people. Now, just so you know, I'm not trying to insult you, but the FBI throughout America has kind of a checkered reputation. Says he's not trying to insult the FBI, then insults the FBI. Nice move to get the FBI on your side there, bud. I'll have to remember that one. And I'm broadcasting everything I do live because I'm going to get total transparency sooner or later in this country. And I'd like you guys to intervene now. A federal investigation should start into the Ironton Police Department and the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. And you guys should immediately intervene and get my phone back for me before those people try to find who out the con Contact your state attorney general's office, sir. You have a good evening, okay? W what's that? Thank you, sir. What? Contact the state attorney general's office. I called the FBI. Yeah, it's a fed. What's that, sir? Contact the state. Contact the state attorney general's office. You have a nice evening. <laughs> okay, so not only did he call the FBI, he left voicemails for the ACLU, State Representative, Attorney General of Ohio, and the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. Yes, he really does think this is that important. I'm sure they will get straight back to him. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to get early access to content like this, then please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video.